Okay, so in the first video we unboxed the Samsung PowerBot and now we're going to try to do some more uh, advanced features. Um, cool feature it has is its edge detection feature. Uh, so you can see here the robot will butt up to an edge and recognize that there's an edge. And then if you didn't catch it there, it's got a little sweeper that just extends out when it detects that there's an edge. Puts that blade down and then pulls any debris back into the vacuum uh, so it can really do a good job of cleaning tight edges. Another cool feature is the uh, cliff detection. So this one had me a little worried uh, but decided I would test it out. Put it on the edge of the staircase here and told it to spot clean and you can see the, the Samsung PowerBot does a great job. It'll go right up to the edge, even uh, over the edge, but doesn't fall. So I've learned to trust that a little bit. No accidents yet. Now, so far, all these features are available just by you know, pressing auto clean, spot clean. Uh, with the remote control that comes with the power bot. Um, but for some more advanced features, uh, we're going to go ahead and go beyond the remote and tie our power bot to the uh, Smart Things app. So this used to be called Samsung Connect. It's now called Smart Things. You can see it there at the bottom. And when you go into Smart Things, you're going to have to add a device. It'll detect the vacuum. Uh, you'll add the vacuum and then you'll have to download the vacuum controller. Okay, once you have added uh, the vacuum to your SmartThings app, you'll see it. Mine showed up in my uh, home category and you can see it here. It shows up and I've already downloaded the controller for the robot vacuum. So now when I click on the robot vacuum, uh, it'll bring me into the controller. So from here you can see it's got a remote control. I can manually control the uh, vacuum with the left, right, and forward buttons. Uh, I can put it into auto clean, which will just make it go through its normal cycle. Or I could do a spot clean. Uh, and you can see down below it shows me the status that it's, uh, it's fully charged, ready to go. Uh, and it, you can also see the battery level, which will you know, show you if it's fully charged or... Uh, how low the battery is. You can change the suction power and toggle on and off the repeat setting. And then a cool feature here is that we can now schedule uh, the bot to vacuum when we want it to. So you can see you can do a one-time schedule or under daily uh, we could go ahead and click that and we could uh, set a time that we want it to vacuum every day. We'll back out of that and then go to the bottom and you can see in the history. Uh, so the history is a cool feature. You can click on that and then it'll bring up the history of when the unit has run, but it also have, creates these cool little maps. Uh, so and you can see by the maps uh, which rooms it would have cleaned and whether it did an auto uh, one-time pass or a repeat pass. Um, to bring up one of those maps and you can kind of see how it's mapped out the rooms that it went into and the hallways and uh, shows you where where it got. So that's a cool feature uh, and you can also then link your uh, Smart Things app with other third-party apps like IFTTT um, to do some more automation but we'll cover that uh, a little later. Um, we will be connecting this to our Amazon account, to our Amazon Echo, uh, so we can voice control the robot as well. Okay, now to connect to our Amazon account, we're going to just go into the Amazon Alexa app right there and search the skills. And we're looking for the Samsung Smart Home. There's a basic and a full. Uh, looks like either one will work. So I enabled this skill, uh, and you can see here in the description. Uh, that it'll give us voice control of the Samsung vacuum. 
Uh, when we go in there, uh, we have to give it access to our account and link the Amazon Alexa account to the Samsung SmartThings app. Um, put in your password and it'll find your connected devices. Alexa, tell Samsung to turn on the robot vacuum.